jobs, clean their room, get dressed like you were going to actual school school. Eagle Ping It's been a few years since we have done a makeover on the girls hangout and bathroom. Yes! Yeah. So I am gonna have you guys actually help me. Stop believing meant to be expanding our abilities. Yeah. Get busy. Get busy. Everybody get get busy. I need y'all to report to the dance floor right this minute. Good morning guys! Um, I've already woke up the older kids and they're getting ready and I'm going in right now to have my me time, my prayer and um, just kind of a scripture journaling, my me time in the morning which I love. It really helps me out. As the mom of 16 you can imagine I really need my me time. So I'm going to go in there and have that and then I will get the little kids will have devotional, have breakfast and we will get going on this day. And so I'm excited to show you guys some of the changes I've made and um, yeah, so let's get going. All right, it's time now to wake up all of the middles and littles. Here we go. All right, these girls are taking off. This is Sadie. Sadie, what grade are you in? Ninth, Ninth grade. Lily, what grade are you in? She had to think for a second there. <laughs> she is a junior. Next year, you're going to have to graduate. What the heck is going on? How are you growing up? This is just not right, people. See you Bye. later. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. See you later. See ya. So cute. Bye. All right. Bye. So Navy, see you later. Wait, what grade are you in? Oh, she's eating breakfast. Eighth grade. Luke, what grade are you in? Seventh. Luke is in seventh grade, but he is homeschooled every other day. So today, going with dad to work out. Yes, have fun. Love hey, you both. I love you. Love you. Bye, I love you. Bye. All right, now I head up and get the other kids who go to school ready. But first, <laughs> I need to get my workout outfit on so that I make sure I work out before I get my normal outfit on for the day. It just helps me actually work out every day. So, all right, here we go. Ready to do some hair. to wear his pajamas today because it's pajama day. It's Moms day. love pajama day, I must say, because then I do not have to actually find him an outfit. Hey, Delaney, Beckham's right here. <laughs> Delaney's my biggest helper when it comes to getting Beckham dressed in the morning. Beckham's going this. It's cozy Charlotte's Web day. They're gonna read the Charlotte's Web book. No, I'm gonna watch it. You're gonna watch it? Yeah. Is we... it because they've been reading it? We read the whole thing. Holy cow, that's exciting. In third grade last year, we, um, we read the whole mm -hmm. book of the BFG. Yeah. We got to watch mm -hmm. the movie of the that's BFG. It was so funny. So though. exciting. I'm handsome. and then we start our homeschool. I don't even call it homeschool anymore. That's one big change. I now call it like, I don't know, like home learning or day of learning because yes. I've just changed things up a little bit. All right guys, we are ready to start our at home learning, which yes. is 
a super fun way that we have decided to like add to our daily routine is we play a game together. And the game that I have loved is Skip Bow. If you guys remember Skip Bow, it has been traditionally a card game. It's been around for 50 years. From the same makers as Uno, which is Mattel. And yeah, I played it all growing up and actually played it like one of the very first games I ever played with Benji's family when I first met them as we played really? Skip Bow. So I had tons of fun memories playing Skip Bow. But now we have it on our phone. And so these guys didn't even know it was a card game. Like, hello. Anyway, so now we have it on our phone and we can like uh, play with each other as like a group of friends. And so I'm gonna push play and then we're gonna get started. Let's go. One thing that I really love about Skip Bow is it does need a little bit of like skill, but for the most part, it just gives like a great relaxation effect and it makes everybody kind of like join along and just kind of get, oh, I don't know, excited for each other that you're, Hitting, getting closer to Skip Bow. So. One thing I love also about Skip Bow is you don't even have to have like Wi-Fi or the internet to use it. So if you're like getting in an elevator or going on the metro or going camping, you can still keep playing. Something I like about Skip Bow is nowadays like a lot of the games are a lot more like make me stress and stuff. Skip Bow doesn't really do that. It helps me relax and be more calm. That's true. What I like about it is that it has different theme events, which are so cute. They are. <laughs> Normally, when we play games with our siblings, we're mostly fighting, but True. with Skippo, <laughs> we're more chill. Yeah, for sure. Ah! You're doing good. I haven't won once. You will this one. Does anybody have a three? No, Paisley, you press Whose it. Whose turn is it you right touch now? It. Two. Really? I don't even have a three, so I have to end my turn. Okay, who's next? <laughs> Press the skip button. What was that crying face? No, it's so fun. You can do these emojis. Oh, when is it my turn? I have the six. I mean, I have the seven and eight. So what we do is we just love to start like our school time with just kind of like a fun game that relaxes everybody and kind of gets us like, I don't know, um, our brain working a little bit, but not like too much. And then we go and do one course of like, so they'll all go do math right now. And then we'll come back again and do another kind of relaxing fun thing. And so, um, we're going to finish up this game and then we will get started on our math. Good job, Justin. Oh, I'm the winner! Woo! Good job. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, I am going to go check on how they are doing on their math. But I just have to tell you one of the other things I have discovered with homeschooling. I talked about it in the first video that I wasn't gonna be so hard on myself. And guys, I have been doing, I've been doing so much better. Like there's been a few times in my life that I've tried to homeschool kids. Um, once I tried to homeschool six of them at the same time and then a couple of the times and then during COVID anyway, it was always a nightmare because I put too much pressure on myself to make it like school. I just didn't realize there's way more ways to teach our kids than the traditional ways, right? We can have more fun and learning happens all day long versus just in these little increments. Yes, true that they have to do the online because that's the portion that they have to do for it to like coincide with their schooling. But everything else can be at my leisure and for fun. And so some of the ways that I do this are like, for instance, today when we went to go do our workout this morning, that is like physical education, right? And so I was able to take them on the walk with me, which is so fun because we're able to connect and kind of bond during that time. And we also get to be, you know, physically active. Also with Luke, how he does it is he goes with Benji and obviously we talked about that this morning, that Trey trains them, which is so fun. All of these ways of like learning and growing are also bonding our family, which is awesome. This just ended up a really cool time for me and my kids to bond and to just create some memories. So I'm going to first check on Paisley real quick how she's doing. All right, Miss Paisley Jane. Did you guys know that Paisley's middle name is Jane? Yes. Yes, it is. It's spelled like Janie. Spelled like Janie. All right, so what are you doing right now? All right, so you're gonna take that? Mm -hmm. All right, how have you really liked it? Be honest, how have you liked it? What are the hard parts of homeschooling and what are the good parts? Well, one of the hard parts is like actually getting out on it because like it's so tough to just not do school. Just motivation in general. That uh, makes sense. I have also noticed that that's a hard part. For some reason, it's just hard to like, you know, you're just like chill. Sometimes you're in your pajamas and you're like, yeah. oh, I just don't feel like doing it right now. So it has actually helped, like a point that I would give to somebody is it helps to get all ready for the day. Like for everyone to like do their jobs, clean their room, get dressed like you were going to actual school school, you know, like actual public school, you know? And so that way you're like kind of just ready for the day and you're kind of ready to do something and to work. And they just know like you need to get these two things done 
um, here at home before we can do the more fun things of learning and more of the like field trips and things like that. And so perfect. Now I'm gonna go check on some other kids how they're doing on their math and then I'm gonna show you a fun way that we do math. All right, Mr. Luke. How's it going? Going good? Um, another thing that's fun about homeschool is it's flexible. Like today, where are we having to go later today? To your comp. To your comp. And so we're already packing. So I love that it's flexible. So math is done. Okay, what is one thing, can you tell the camera one thing that you have liked about homeschooling every other day? That I get to sleep in, kind of. Oh, so that's like, true, like a little bit longer. So like I wake up at like 6.30 or like like 6 or something, and then so on days that I don't go, I could wake up at 7. That makes sense. All right, so name something that makes it harder to do it at home. Um, Sometimes we have to film, and like if we're like gone, sometimes I like, it's hard to like do like stuff on my computer because like if it's cheer comp, like I don't have time at all. And like, if I, I'm on vacation, I'm like, well, like I kind of want to do it, but like, I want to like So fun. hard to stay motivated because so like, you're somewhere like, different. Yeah. yeah. So it's a little more self-motivation. Yes. Yeah, that's true. That's true. That's exactly the pace I said. All right, you finish that up and then we're going to go downstairs and do some fun ways of learning math. And then we have, and we have a couple more things that we've got planned, so. Right. Me home. Mm -hmm. Me home. Me home. All right, so Presley is doing her Chinese. Um, that's also where she does her math, but she is loving it so far. If you could say anything that you don't like about homeschooling, what would it be? That I don't get to hang out with friends. Don't get to hang out with friends. Like I do get to hang out with friends, but I don't like getting to hang out. Oh, you mean at, at school. school? Okay, I get you. I get you. So like the social aspect is yeah. a little bit different. But it's, is it is it worth it? You still yes. loving it? It's definitely worth it. Definitely. After you're done here, head downstairs for our next uh, activity. Yeah. Oh, cool. All right, guys. So for the next part of this video. We're gonna be eating lunch. And so just a fun way to eat lunch is like either measure things as you're cooking them or like in this case, we are having pizza. And so let's do some fractions. Are you ready? Yeah. All right guys, so I have three pizzas in front of you. And I want you to tell me what fraction the pizza is. All right, so we are gonna start with Presley. Presley, what is the fraction of pizzas that have been taken out? One. Not that are there, that one that's taken oh. out. What fraction of pizza has been taken out? Six, one, six? One, six, yeah. yep. And how much is left? So what's that fraction that's left? Six. Five, five six. Five, six, perfect. All right, and Luke, it is your turn. Tell me how much pizza is left. So there's eight pieces of pizza and there's two gone, so that'd be six, eight. Mm -hmm. And then if I simplified that, that'd be three, four. Perfect, all right, next is? So, so what I want you to tell me is how many pieces were there total? There were eight total. Eight total pieces. Yeah, and four, four of them four are gone. Eights. So four eighths and then divide that down only one time for me first. Simplify it only once first. Two fourths. Two yep. fourths, yep. One. Perfect. All right. Good job. Right, time for a pizza party. Yay! All right, girls. So fun for today's activity is I have a little announcement. It's been a few years since we have done a makeover on the girls hangout and bathroom. Yes! Yeah. So I am gonna have you guys actually help me from the vision board, to measuring things that they will Ooh. fit, to ordering them, to mm. making a budget, putting it all on a spreadsheet, so learning how to do some like work on spreadsheets. That's all really like helpful for your life, right? And it's learning, so how cool is that? So the first thing I always do when I want to like prepare to do a room is I kind of want to get a vision for what I'm going to create. And so this magazine, I think there's some really cute oh, rooms cute. in here. There's just some oh. super cute inspiration in this magazine. And so what I thought would be fun is if you guys want to go to this magazine, you can even print some stuff off on our computer yeah. um, and put them all on here. And this will kind of be our vision board for our room makeover okay. and our bathroom. Ooh, okay. All right, That'd that's where fun. we're gonna start part one and then we'll go into budget and ordering. So, so fun. Let's go.
love this map. This one's probably my favorite because I really like this swinging chair and like it's my favorite thing in the world. So you want to like the hanging chair? Yeah. I want this hanging chair. You can get it. And I want, I, really I like, like this, like, this thing, and I like so the cute. brick Look wall. at that mirror, you guys. I really like this one. I like, cute. I like this one, and this one does that. So what do you like about this one right here? So I like like the mirror kind of about it. I don't really like like the chairs and stuff, but I like like the mirror. This one. So you like to have some kind of like wicker or rattan in it? Yeah. Yeah, we like pink and tan. There's a lot of pink here. Look at this cute picture. That's super cute with the hats, all the little <laughs> wicker hats hanging. We were thinking that this would kind of go like in the girls' hangout. Like if yeah. there's a little bench in the front. Like, like a rack, and we're gonna like some oh, hats. Oh, cute! So we can hang hats in kind of like the part where you walk in. Yeah, I love it. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna let you guys push this up, and then we will get on to the next. Um, I don't know, learning lesson, whatever you want. Baby, you and baby. We are gonna talk a little bit about. We are going on a trip. Yeah. Maui is where we're actually going. And I, love that I thought it'd be interesting to kind of figure out like how Maui and all of the Hawaiian islands actually came into existence. And actually they meant. Yeah, it's crazy. So I looked it up and they have all been formed from volcano. A volcano. Wait, how? Like, a, a volcano can go. Huge volcano. Well, like a long, 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 long time ago, there was only one big volcano that like formed the, all these different islands. And I was kind of confused as I was reading about it, but it's like, have you ever heard of the word tectonic plates? Maybe. So I guess that moves over yeah, like thousands slide. and they slide. And so as it does that, that volcano has created different islands. And so cool. all of the islands are, yeah, created from one volcano. And there is still an active volcano on the big island. I learned that the biggest island is called the big island, which is Hawaii. Like, and then the little islands each have a name. And so we are going to Maui, Maui. yeah, which is a different island yeah. than the big islands. So Hawaii is the name of the chain of seven islands, but each island has their mm -hmm. own name. name. Yes. So we're gonna learn a little bit more about Hawaii right now, a little bit more about Maui specifically. And so I think it'll be more interesting to like as we travel and as we look at the different like landscapes, how some places are a little bit more dry and other places are super green and wet. We're gonna learn why. I always thought that was interesting. So we're gonna learn about this, and then you guys, we have to get packed because we have to go to a cheer competition. competition. So we'll get packed and get going on that, and you guys can finish up what things you haven't finished online on the trip. We okay. have a hot spot, so you can just log in and finish it up. Okay. So here we go. Read. All right. So let's first learn about now. had to continue my learning, which is kind of crazy because you think when you're 40, um, I won't even say, that you know you know most everything that the kids learn at school, but really you can use refreshers. And I have actually learned a ton because my learning also needs to continue, right? No matter how old you are, you can always learn. Anyway, it has been awesome to figure out a way to homeschool that I'm not so hard on myself, I'm not so hard on the kids. We can actually enjoy it with their learning. And it's so fun to see like the little light bulb go off in their mind when you're teaching them something and it's like such an honor to be able to teach them those things, you know? So I have loved it. So anyway, that is how I have solved the problem of how to homeschool is don't be so hard on yourself, have more fun, teach them through what you normally do in a day. And then also, yeah, have them go online to do some of the other stuff that we have connected to our school, but just relax and kind of just go with the flow and be easier on yourself. So if you are homeschooling for the first time, that is my advice. All right, love you all. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.